Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this very short video, I'm going to show you how to create a VPC on AWS with public and private subnets. So we're just going to get started here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up, I'm going to click on services. And I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to find VPC and I'm going to click on that. Okay, now that I'm here in the left hand side, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for Elastic IPs, which is here. So I've clicked on Elastic IPs and I'm going to click to allocate a new address and I'm going to click allocate and you can see we've now got our IP address. So I'll just click close here and I'm going to come back and click on the VPC dashboard here, which will take us back to the VPC dashboard and I'm then going to click to launch VPC wizard. Okay. And I'm then going to click on a VPC with public and private subnets. I'm going to click select. And I'm going to leave all these as the defaults, but you can change them if you wish. And for my VPC name, I'm just going to say Darren's VPC. And I'm going to leave the private and public as the default as they are here. And I'm going to click to create the VPC. Oh, and I've missed my Elastic IP allocation. So I'm just going to come here and we can see we have the Elastic IP that we created. So that's for our NAT gateway, which will give our private subnets access to the internet. So now that all that's filled out, I am going to click create VPC and it will begin to create for us here now. So it might just take a minute to create the NAT gateway. So I'm just going to pause the video while this is working. Okay, so we're back and this looks good for us. I can see my VPC has been successfully created. So I'm just going to click OK here. Perfect. And we can see Darren's VPC. So if we come down and have a look at our subnets, we can see our private and public subnet, which we've created. So that's all the resources it's created and you can now begin to launch EC2 instances into your public or private subnets. Uh, just be aware if you are following along as a tutorial, be sure to uh, tear down any resources that you created because otherwise you will be charged for the NAT gateway. So just be sure that you delete them and you can delete the NAT gateway in the NAT gateway section. If you have any questions, please do comment below and if I can help, I certainly will. And thank you for watching.